What is up, comic fam, and welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and today we're going to be doing a Monday mail haul. So we're going to take a look at all the stuff that I've acquired over the last week or so here and go through it and give some shout outs in the meantime. But before we do that, check this out. Huge shout out and thank you to Big Time Collectibles. They are the sponsor of the monthly Legion Loot giveaway for the channel members. If you're in the market for any retailer exclusive high-end ratio variants or even placing those FOC orders, be sure to check out BigTimeCollectibles.com. You can also follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Also, if you're looking to get any comics cleaned or pressed, look no further. Justin Comics on Instagram can take care of you for as little as $10 a book. He's got really fast turnaround times. He can also submit directly to CGC and CBCS for you. Be sure to use that promo code. We are Legion and take advantage of that buy two, get one free offer that we have running right now. All right, let's get into it. I've got a lot of stuff that came in, so I've already opened a lot of it just to make it quicker here. But I want to show some of this stuff off. I want to look at me, hashtag look at me in case Comic Journeys is watching this and uh, put a little context to him just so that he stays happy as well. But first off, this was A-OK -okay to me by an amazing community channel, uh, community member and a channel member, uh, Flo Dameron from Instagram. Uh, be sure to check out his Instagram and give him a follow. I'm going to put links in the description to the video to everybody that is mentioned today. So definitely give him a follow. And uh, that was the New York Comic Con foil exclusive for We Live Number One. So anybody that follows the channel uh, knows that I was a huge, huge fan of this book as it was coming out. A big thank you to new guy Ryan. Uh, he really uh, was the one that kind of put me onto it first. Uh, but when, so I was able to pick it up the day it came out. And him and I even reached out and had the Miranda Brothers on the, the channel for a conversation, which was phenomenal. But this is uh, the uh, issue number one, which is a gatefold cover and a foil version. And even it still has the gatefold. Like it's three cover foil here. It is just, it is gorgeous. It is amazing. I cannot thank him enough. He just was able to go to the convention. He picked one up and he sent it my way. So as far as getting the uh, Inaki Miranda covers for this series, uh, the, uh, the thing's just the metal cover that I'm missing now. And that one, that one's going to be a little bit more tricky to get my hands on. It, it goes for a pretty penny. All right, next up, this was a funny story behind this one. So this is Department of Truth number 12. This is the John Jang variant. So uh, here we go. Now you can see that is a wicked gorgeous cover. Like I absolutely love it. Terrifying. So this one came from Frankie's Comics, and they are notoriously known for having really, really slow shipping like uh actually from the time you order a book to the time it ships is is longer than average but they are a great shop they do great communication with people now and have for a little while here i know it was rocky about a year ago but the story behind that one is uh, i ordered this september 10th when they posted it on their uh social media it was posted as in hand so i expected it to, sh to ship within like two, three weeks, because I know that they, they do run at their own pace. So a couple months go by, and I message them, and uh, their response was fast, but they said they're waiting on the books from the distributor, from the publisher, to give them a date on when they'll even get them in. And I mentioned to them, I responded and said it. I remember the, the listing saying in hand, and they asked me where did I see that listing at, and I told them specifically and when, because I know the day that that listing went up is the day that I ordered it because it was available. That's when I ordered Jang books. And uh, if you go back and look, the, the post had been taken down. It wasn't there at all. And it hasn't been there for a while because I had already gone back to double check myself. And their, they responded, their response was, we just sent your book. So they, uh, they initially responded by saying they don't have the book, that they're waiting on the publisher to let them even know when they're going to ship to the shop. 
And after I bring up that they were supposed to be in hand, they ship the next day. So they were sitting on these books. I don't know if they just got lost in the feed or in their process. I know they just opened up a store. I'm not sure, but needless to say, it was a great communication with them. Threw me off a little bit, but I'm super happy to have this in hand. And I will, I will continue to order from them. I have no, nothing against them whatsoever. You, have, you just have to expect those uh, wait times, which is fine with me because I'm just ordering for the PC. So next up, this one's busted open already. This is from one of, uh, I don't know, man, this guy, this guy, one of my absolute favorite community members, hands down. And that's none other than Nicky Nine and a Half himself, Nick's Kicks and Comics. That's one of my dudes uh, pictured right here. So Nick is a great guy. He, he's got a channel. He's on Instagram. He's on whatnot. He's doing big things. He's such an awesome community member, super supportive of everyone. He's a total blast to talk to. So he was part of the Big Time Collectibles box battle we did with guest judge superstar John Jang himself. Go back uh, last week and check that video out. It was, a, it was a good time. It was a blast. But he pulled something in his mystery box that uh, I was looking for to complete a set of, and that was the Miko Suyan Superman 78 issue number one convention exclusive. So that black and white virgin, as you see right behind it there, I've got the uh, color version. I love that A cover. I love that trade dress on it. I've got the minimal already, and then this completes the set with that black and white. So that is, that's absolutely phenomenal. Just a gorgeous book. Miko did such a great job with these books. So put that one over there. And yeah, be sure to check out Nick's Kicks and Comics. He does those big things. So next up, this is another one from community members. In a sense, I ordered this from Millennial Comics, but uh, recently. The community's own artist, one of one of the greatest artists in the community that I enjoy his stuff is uh, Austin LeMay. And as you see, if you're a channel member and those custom emojis, we got that Austin over peach emoji to play with. It's a great time to get it ready and fire it off in the comment section because this is his very first published cover. And this is the Blasted and Stash and Comics exclusive for Delta Dogs. I think it's issue number 11, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken, but it's a reprint of issue 11. And that's that. Austin LeMay exclusive. So Pokam Joe did send me one, which I shared on the channel already, uh, like real fast. And then they went on sale on the website. So I ordered not one, not two, but three more. So that way I have some to, uh, I want to be able to include uh, one or two in the Legion loot boxes moving forward so that people who might not have been able to get their hands on one because they did sell out, have a shot at them as well as I wanted to have at least two myself to uh, when the options become available to send them to Austin for signing, remarks, grading. I have a chance to play the odds. didn't know how how the conditions would come out. So, well, yeah, like I said, I was trying to play the odds there. So I got four of those Blasting and Stashing covers, awesome covers. He did a great job with those. Such a wicked artist. All right, now lastly, yeah, final book for the day. I mean, I'm excited about this one. Last Friday, I mentioned in the Legion of Comic Community Hangout that I was going to go hit up the Honey Hole. I've had a couple of books on my mind, nothing major, just uh, I was trying to get issues five and six of Superman Up in the Sky by Tom King from a couple of years ago. So they didn't have it at my Honey Hole, but another book that's just been weighing heavily on my soul is a Spectre book. And this one is the Spectre from the John Ostrander run, issue number 22 which the Spectre's like such a cool character. Really, really love the Spectre. I'm a huge Superman guy, so what are the odds that he's featured on the cover? But most importantly about this is this is Alex Ross's first work for DC Comics. So, you know, I'm definitely a DC guy. I love me some Superman. Alex Ross is like top tier legend in my book. He's the one that really just like cemented, cemented my love for comics. When I was in like third grade and first read Kingdom Come, which is still my favorite story of all time. So getting his first work with DC is a huge deal for me. And I got this for only five bucks, man. It was such a steal. And uh, tell you what, this is a super minty copy. Like there's not a ding, anything, nothing on it. So uh, I'm probably going to look into getting this sent off and graded for my personal collection. I would love to have it nice, nice displayable up on there on the wall. And, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. So Alex Ross's first published work 
was an independent uh, independent book, four issue miniseries called uh, Terminator Burning Earth. So it was an actual Terminator book, which big Terminator fan too. So that one I'm going to, I think I have like one or two issues of it that I've had for years. So I need to put that set together as well. But I was super excited to get that, man. Super excited. So drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of uh, the books that I've picked up here recently. What are some of your favorites out of those? Let's give a big thank you to all the channel members real fast. I mean, I, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. There's a lot of names in these lists that are content creators themselves. So if you don't see any names you recognize, be sure to go look them up and give them a subscribe. See what they're up to. See what they're doing. Cannot thank you all enough. And if you're interested in joining the channel, becoming a member, joining the Legion, look down below next to the subscribe button. There should be a blue join button. Click on that. You can see your options in there for as little as $1.99 a month. You can join. But if you join that $5.99 tier, it enters you into a chance to win the Legion loot box. It's sponsored by Big Time Collectibles every month. And if you're interested to see what is included in those, follow me on Instagram. I try and going in this coming week here. Uh, I know it's a busy week with Thanksgiving stuff. I'm going to go and try to get that box together and post some pictures to, so people can see what's going to be included in it. All right, guys. So until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we... Our Legion.